Hello, Eric, the Swiss Army Knife, and I'm here because I'm now involved in some manufacturing areas, and we have a great TIG welder, which is a 250DX sine wave, and it is a TIG welder, and it has a chiller in it to keep the tip cool, and it's really a nice machine. If you have the privilege of owning one of these, you'll really love the way that it welds. One of the things that I found and we made a video on it is how to change the water in the chiller once a year. Um, sooner if you run in 24 seven, but typically once a year will be fine. And you can see that through the window. That's not such a big deal. Um, but once a month, depending on your area of, of how clean your work area is, even when it's really clean and we've got a clean environment here, you're gonna end up <clears throat> with dust in the chiller radiator and that chiller radiator will get clogged up and not be as efficient and maybe cause tip failure and other things. So uh, it's recommended to clean that out once a month, but I'm going to show you, I had a video that I showed you doing it. Uh, they want you to pull this out and mess with all of these uh, connectors and everything and just pretty much strain the unit once a month. I'm gonna go around the back. I'm gonna show you what you've, we've done and I'm also going to offer you a product that you will jump at and will save you tons of money and a lot of time in um, maintenance in this. You don't have to send it out. You don't have to have somebody come do it. You can do it yourself. One of your guys can do it in like less than five, five minutes. So here we go. That'll be part two.